We'll guide you through how to fix Bluetooth missing from the device manager in Windows 11 and 10. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying because it means you can't go and use Bluetooth and it's not working. So just to go and double check, you can right click on the start button and click on device manager. In device manager, go and look for Bluetooth. You may go and have the Bluetooth section, but not your adapter, or it may be completely missing. Just before we get any further, click on action and click on scan for hardware changes, just in case it goes and finds it. If it doesn't, great. If it doesn't, let's continue. Do just make sure as well that you do have a Bluetooth adapter, whether that's built into your computer, into the motherboard, or if you've gone and got a USB one, make sure it's plugged in. However, if you definitely do have an adapter, let's get into the fixes. So what you want to do is make sure you've got the drivers installed. So for example, because my Bluetooth is built into my motherboard, what I can do is go and type in the motherboard make and model and drivers. If you've got a laptop, then I recommend searching the model and make and Bluetooth drivers. And then you can go and search for it. Make sure you come to the official site and we can go and select driver and we can then select LAN drivers and I can then go and download the Bluetooth driver. So we can download it and install it and go and see if that fixes the problem. If it does, then great. If it doesn't, then what you want to do is come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and go and type in command prompt, right click on it and run it as administrator. Go into the description of this video and you can copy the first command and then you can right click to paste or you can just go and type that in, press enter and it's going to go and run and it's going to scan your system. After you've run that, you can go and copy the next line and then right click to paste it in, or you can type it in and press enter and go and let this run. After that's finished, go and restart your computer. So you can click on the start button at the bottom, click on the power button and restart. After it restarts, hopefully then Bluetooth will be appearing in your device manager and you'll be able to go and use it. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.